I've been paying close attention to a YouTuber that I watch pretty often. His name is Hamza, and he's been putting out a lot of content with AI thumbnails. And what's different from his thumbnails and other AI thumbnails is that he's actually replacing his own face. So I dug around and I figured out exactly how he's doing it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how. My name is Vic, welcome to Laranja Digital. If you get value, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so here we are on Hamza's YouTube channel and I'm just gonna show you exactly what I mean. So he's putting out these videos pretty much every day and they are AI generated thumbnails pretty cool stuff and you can see the faces are very consistent it's consistently his face which if you use midjourney or dally you know that this isn't really possible just through those softwares alone so in order to pull this off we're going to be using midjourney as our image generation software if you haven't used midjourney before it's incredible so i'm going to show you exactly how to set that up then we're going to be using this plugin for discord called pixie.ai created by insight face swap and this is going to be the actual face swapping element that replaces whatever face we generate with our own another tool that i'm just throwing in the mix is this google sheets document that i have which has a ton of different art styles you can scroll through and determine exactly what the prompt should be to get a specific style of artwork, which really comes in handy if you don't exactly know how to describe what you would like to see. So if you don't know exactly how Midjourney works, it doesn't have its own website UI, it uses Discord. If you've never used it before, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to install it. From the Midjourney website, we're gonna go down to join the beta, and I don't know why it's not centered, but it's gonna give us an invitation to accept the Midjourney Discord server. So we will accept the invite. So now we're here in the Midjourney Discord server, but I don't wanna use Midjourney through their server because it's just a complete mess. I'm gonna create my own server. Very simply with Discord, I can hit add a server right here, create my own for me and my friends. I'll just name it Vic LaRange's server. And then I will jump back over to the Discord server because I need to bring the Midjourney bot into our server. So I'll scroll down to one of the newbie channels. So I'm gonna identify a message from the Discord bot right here. I'll click on who sent it. I will click add to server. And then I will choose the server that I just created. Hit continue and authorize. And now we've added Midjourney to our Discord server. You can see here, it is online. So the next step is to add the Insight Face Swap bot. All of the links are provided below, by the way, if you wanna keep up with me. So right here, we are on the GitHub for the Insight Face Swap bot. And all you have to do is super easy is just click this link, Discord bot invitation link right here. It's going to give us a similar prompt I'm going to select the server I just made and hit continue and authorize just once again. So now I have Midjourney and the Insight bot on my Discord server and I need to add a photo of my face. This is the photo that we're gonna be face swapping with on whatever we generate. But if we go back over to Insight, we can see that there are a few parameters we have to follow when uploading the face image to make sure we have the best quality. We want a front view, high quality, no glasses, no heavy bangs, and photo ID photos are actually preferred. So something just straight on, good lighting, no glasses, no bangs. I've already gone ahead and taken that photo of myself right here, and this is what I'm gonna use. So on my Discord server here, I'm just going to type slash, and this is going to open up all the different commands that we have with both Midjourney and the Insight bot. I can click the Insight face swap logo right here, and then I can see all the different commands. So what I need to do first is what we call save ID. I need to create an identification of my face. So I'll click on that and it will give me this prompt to upload a photo. I'll drag in my photo here and I'll name it Vic and hit enter. And we can see that ID name Vic is updated. So my face is now uploaded into the bot. Now I want to actually pull a style of art for our thumbnail. So I'm just gonna quickly kind of run through this document pick an art style that I think is cool for a thumbnail. And I feel like this Charlie Bowwater is actually pretty clean. It's a cool art style. And I like the watercolor vibe that it has going on. So at the end of our mid journey prompt, we're gonna add character by Charlie Bowwater. Again, you can find the link to this document in the description. So we'll go back over to mid journey. And when I go slash imagine, 
and hit enter, we're able to start prompting Midjourney. And what you should be doing here is describing yourself as best as possible in the environment you want for the thumbnail. When we look at Hamza's thumbnails, he's kind of like an exaggerated muscular boxer version of himself. So I think we will go with that direction. I'm just gonna do like a blue background and see what we can do. So I'm gonna prompt young man, Italian, short faded hair, short beard, professional, boxer, muscular and then we want to add character by charlie bowwater to the end of this prompt just so it knows exactly what art style we're going for we want to add an aspect ratio command which is going to give us a widescreen version of this shot rather than square how we do that is dash dash ar and then 16 colon 9. we're telling it the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. the last command is going to be to use the latest version of mid journey so dash dash v space 5.2 and this is going to allow us to use midjourney 5.2 hit enter and let's see what we get with midjourney okay so midjourney is completed it's given us four options and they're all pretty good options actually i don't know how much they look like me but they're a good starting point to work with i'm going to make a couple adjustments to the prompt because i want it to be more forward facing and if you have used midjourney before you know that this is kind of a guessing game or a feeling it out type of game. You want to make adjustments over time to get the output that you want. So it's pretty normal. We throw something out there and then we make an adjustment and maybe the second time, third time around, we get what we're looking for. So I'm going to just copy whatever I put in the last prompt. I'm going to slash imagine again, paste it in, and then I want to add some stuff here. After muscular, we're gonna add facing, the camera, cinematic lighting, and blue background, because that was something that I mentioned before. Okay, we got some much better options, I feel. Definitely more front facing. These are more cinematic and much cooler than the last batch. And you can see that the art style is really coming through. That's why we're seeing kind of this watercolor effect in the background. So I'm gonna test this on two of these thumbnails that I like best. I'm gonna try this second one and this third one because I feel like the lighting and the face structure is the best for a thumbnail. So in order to get those individually, I'm gonna have to upscale them to a better quality on their own. I do that through hitting the buttons that are labeled U in order of the images. So I want U2, which is this one, and U3, which is this one. So Midjourney has given me the upscaled versions of these images we can see here. Now they're on their own. They're a much better quality. And now this is where the face swap comes in. So on Discord, when I hover over this mid-journey image, I'm gonna get options with these three dots. It, it says more, I'll click that, I'll go down to apps and I'll choose in swapper. And now you can see that my eyes, my face has been put onto this boxing character. And I'm gonna do it with this one as well. And this one's actually uh, pretty good. These, these definitely came out pretty nice. I do feel like there is a bit of artifacting around the eyes and that's been pretty consistent, but I mean the way that it maintains the lighting and it also put my lips, my beard style, my nose, pretty much everything mapped on the face really well. When you compare it to the original, there's a lot of facial features that have changed here. So I definitely recommend playing with this and trying to get the right style for your own thumbnails. Hopefully we see the Insight bot improve over time to really remove the artifacting around the eyes and just map things out a little better. But so far the technology is pretty cool. And that's exactly how Hamza and his team are making these thumbnails where he's this huge muscular AI boxing guy, but it's Hamza's face. And you can be super prolific with thumbnails like this. So if you got value today, make sure you like the video, subscribe, drop a comment. My name is Vic from Laranja Digital and I'll see you later.